Well, here I am. Uh, pond two is practically completed. Um, I've got the fountain pump in place, and I added the water conditioner. I put a couple of fish in there. I may have to transfer them back to pond one. This is pond one. This is not a kiddie pool, by the way. This is my own creation. The border is created by with about 25 gallon pails filled with heavy gravel and cement. It's an industrial uh, two 20 mil pond liners, double thickness, and um, fountain pump that I, uh, you know, built a brick wall around, a small brick wall. And the, the utility pump, which is about, pumps about 500 gallons per hour, and then goes to uh, a canister filter, which has a high grade filter for filtering out impurities in hard water and other impurities, and makes the water more for the fish. This is, a, this is the simple fountain pump that aerates the water. This is the outgoing line from the filter pump. And this is just general aquascaping. I'm going to add some other decorations, as you can see. But this pond, has, the focus on my pond too, is more depth and room for swimming for, room for, swimming for the larger fish. Note I've got three underwater LED lights. These are low voltage uh, LED, like large, three large flashlights that eliminate the pond. And this is my splash shield that eliminates any splash potential on the wall. About a foot over here is pond one. This is my beginner pond. This is where I uh, keep the goldfish and the little minnows, the feeder fish and some of the koi. It's at home right now. It's got, you know, five different filter pumps, which I work on. This has one master pump, one fountain, which serves as a decorative piece, also as an aeration device, and the master canister filter, Culligan water softener filter. Moves all the chlorine and harmful chemicals from the hard water. Uh, pond two is roughly uh, 52 inches in width by about eight and a half feet wide and 14 inches deep. So it's about 370 gallons in, wa in, in water volume. Ballpark figure, not exact, but pretty close. And um, pond one and pond two. This is my second pond. And, um, you know, realistically, it's going to be very really hard to remove a lot of the goldfish and the little minnows from pond one to the home, so I'll leave most of them there. Some of the bigger fish will go to pond two, but I will be restocking with a couple of few more koi. In the springtime, I'll be building an outdoor pond. In the springtime, I'll be taking an above ground pool and a 6,000 gallon pool and converting it to a koi pond, building a wooden frame around it, a stone wall, putting a greenhouse around it. We have a 6,000 gallon koi pond that has a greenhouse around it and will be heated by solar energy in the springtime and wintertime. Anyway, this is pond in my indoor pond too. And uh, home to some of my uh, new goldfish. This is a goldfish that just came out of pond one. He's adjusting. He's a little bit stressed out, but I think he'll be okay. Yeah. All my minnows and goldfish are survivors. I don't think too many goldfish will be in an environment like this. Change is always hard, but I think they'll be happy in the new home I'm creating for them. It's not done yet. Pond 2. Save the minnows 39. Thank you for watching.